Solution Stoichiometry The stoichiometry of a reaction between calcium chloride and sodium carbonate is carried out in aqueous solution and examined. Label a dry filter paper with your initials using a pencil along the edge. Place the filter paper on a watch glass and weigh them. Record the exact mass. Place a weighing dish on a balance and tear it. Weigh approximately 4 grams of calcium chloride dihydrate and record the exact mass. Transfer the solid calcium chloride dihydrate to a 100 milliliter volumetric flask and add about 50 milliliters of distilled water. Make sure to rinse the weighing dish with more water to ensure that all of the calcium chloride dihydrate has been transferred to the volumetric flask. Swirl gently to dissolve the solid completely and then add more distilled water to the mark. Make sure the bottom of the meniscus is at the mark at eye level. Mix the solution thoroughly. Prepare a 10 milliliter volumetric pipette. First, rinse it with distilled water two times by adding distilled water into a small, clean beaker. Draw water into the pipette until it is about half full. Rotate the pipette so that the entire middle region is repeatedly coated with water. Now remove the forefinger from the end and allow the water to move down the stem to a point beyond the calibration mark. Tip the pipette back to the normal vertical position and let the water drain out of the tip into a sink or waste beaker. Avoid wetting the top end of the pipette. Add a sufficient amount of the calcium chloride dihydrate solution into the prepared beaker and rinse the pipette two times. Refill the beaker with approximately 20 milliliters of the calcium chloride dihydrate solution. Insert the pipette tip into the solution and draw in the solution until the liquid level is a couple of inches above the mark. Remove the bulb and quickly place your forefinger over the end of the pipette. 
Release the finger pressure slowly to allow the solution to drain until the bottom of the meniscus is at eye level. Touch the tip of the pipette to the beaker to remove any partially formed drops. Hold the pipette tip against the inside of a clean 150 milliliter beaker. Remove your finger from the stem and allow the solution to drain from the pipette. After drainage, touch the pipette tip to the inside glass of the beaker. Record the concentration of the sodium carbonate located in the burette. Into the same beaker, dispense 10 milliliters of the sodium carbonate solution. Again, be sure to read the bottom of the meniscus at eye level. Swirl the beaker to mix the solution. Filter the solution to collect the precipitate. Rinse the precipitate a few times with small quantities of distilled water and then with small quantities of ethanol. Rinse the beaker a few times with distilled water to transfer as much of the product as possible into the filter paper. Open the filter paper containing the precipitate and place the paper onto the same wash glass that was previously weighed out. Discard the filtrate. Place the filter paper and watch glass in the oven to dry for about 15 minutes. Remove the filter paper and watch glass from the oven using crucible tongs. Put some paper towel on your hand and place your hand just underneath the watch glass in case the watch glass slips from the tongs. Carefully place the watch glass on the bench top and allow them to cool to room temperature. Weigh the precipitate, filter paper, and watch glass together. Record the exact mass. Reheat the precipitate in the filter paper and wash glass until constant mass is reached. Clean the glassware and put away the equipment. <laughs>